this is just how I've got my board laid out. You can see it's sort of modular, but this is the Steve Ward DRSSTC one with OCD. That's the circuit right there. GDT and just testing the phasing here. So got a signal generator, just got one lead hooked up on the primary side. And I've got uh, both channels on the scope here hooked up to the secondaries. And that's what you want to see when they're hooked up right. So obviously if I was to take one and reverse these, then they would be in phase and it would just look like one uh, sign with both channels overlaid on top of each other. This is the correct way. So I'll just make sure that, you know, I label my two grounds here. It's in the uh, game drive here and the feedback oscillator, but I'm just feeding a uh, signal into where the interrupter would go to see if that uh, gets an enable pulse firing at the same frequency. And this is what I've got across one uh, gate of one of the IGBTs. So. It appears to be working, and I've got about uh, 15 volts. So, so far so good there. What I'm running, um, so I'm just uh, interrupting it with the uh, function generator right here, and here the, uh, here that core in there vibrating so that steel dummy load in there is going to start heating up so it is heating up now actually oh it's actually getting pretty warm so yes yeah, things working so now I've got 20 ohms burden resistance across this CT <clears throat> and with that I'm able to bring down my uh, max peak current quite a bit so now I can trigger that from the inverter with the uh, 4 hertz interrupter pulse. I need a phase lead adjustment, but uh, so right now it's going probably not very high peak current, but if I cut the uh, OCD all the way down, and as I cut the voltage up, see it starts to trigger fairly low. So I can set it right about to where it doesn't trip all the way up. So for mains, it'll probably trip and I'll have to reset it, but this gives me sort of a ballpark. So far, I can tell it's working all right because uh, my dummy loads in there are really hot. I can't touch them right now. And with a fan on this little heat sink, it seems to do fine heating that up. So I'm hoping, in, you know, with a coil in place, it'll do pretty good. You build Steve Ward circuits. Um, exactly how he has them and you read his explanations and they just freaking work man it's what's so awesome about his circuits pretty much anybody who can solder can put one of these together and it didn't really cost a lot of money now these caps right here uh, were probably the most expensive thing and I just went ahead and bought those because I didn't have any more I was planning to run this coil I don't know if I still am because the uh, frequency is so high but I also don't want to want another one but it's a good coil for testing this because this particular uh, capacitor had this primary running at about 400 kilohertz. And I know uh, with no top load, this has a natural resonant frequency pretty close to that. Uh, when loaded, it should drop down to quite a bit below what that was at. So I'm sort of afraid of that. But without adjusting it, you know, let's just say the tuning is, is a little off. I still should be able to get some type of output and test how this circuit is running. But most importantly, I really want to test the uh, OCP because uh, you know this other guy over here, while that works pretty awesome, um, I probably need to add that the same OCP on there because that's going to die from ground strikes. Hoping this one doesn't. So anyway, I've got this again hooked up, you know, from the drill battery supply. This little inverter down here and that's going uh, through the variac so I'm using this interrupter in this gigantic box that I made 
and uh, maybe I can show how it works, but, you know, so basically it's just the regular uh, Steve Wars interrupter, but just with, you know, a series of switched capacitance, um, you can add, you know, a different mode, so basically what I did was I made it so... Um, with one switch I can drop the BPS um, so it already comes um, as is with a high BPS you know upwards of like 500 kilohertz or 500 hertz so with this switch I just you know bump that down to about uh, you know 4 to 26 or so and in doing that I can also flip this other switch uh, which increases the maximum on time and then you just take your output run that through a switch and it's just a little push button there um, to where you know you can have your output constantly on or you know if you want to do the push button if I cut that like that then um, you can barely hear it you can see what it's doing it's got the low low blink cut that on if I want the duty cycle to be pretty high cut it off if I want to limit it back to normal and then uh, you know that switch just goes back to the high BPS and then likewise um, I got this other switch for the burst mode um, so that's, that's how it works pretty straightforward pretty simple um, but a great interrupter so that's what I'm using right now So now bad at about 25 volts or so. But yeah. Um, and the inverter dies. So it works, you know, bad tuning, but it still works. And then I can, I can test my uh, OCD here, so I'm going to, so yeah, so all the way down, it barely lets me pull anything, so if, let's say cut it right about there. So you can see what it's doing, it's, it's not really, I don't know if that's how it's supposed to work, but it's not really cutting the output all the way off, however it is cutting it out enough to where the on time is so small that, uh, it's just it's not really doing anything um, so that's kind of cool and I noticed I have to I have to cut my uh, driver power on and off to get that thing oscillating again sometimes so yeah this thing seems to work and then uh, if I cut it all the way up then it's not going to trigger Because <laughs> it's kind of burning me a little. So you saw the light blink in there when uh, I had set it just right, you know, pulling arcs and it started to pull more peak current. So that's pretty, I like that. Uh, that heat sink, oh yeah, it's not as warm as I thought it would be. So it's just a little bit warm. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, so 
I get the feeling now that if I actually, you know, get a <laughs> better tuned, you know, primary and secondary, then this driver would work pretty awesome.